Well, the, the, one, the one thing which I, I find that will be uh, really valuable for everybody is find joy in learning. Because if you find joy in learning, you'll go on learning for life. And there is, to me, it is something that is deeply satisfying, you know, learning. And at the same time, even if you want to be quite practical and utilitarian about it, uh, that if your goal is about some material success, uh, you will still need to learn all your life to, to be really good at what you are. So unless we keep learning and keep getting better at what we do, you'll never be able to really do it well. And uh, so see the university phase as really just one phase of your learning and uh, make the best use in terms of you know, making friends. Uh, you're not going to have as much time, I think, when you start work to be able to uh, meet with so many different people of your age group uh, where you can enjoy so many different things together. And I do think that uh, in many settings, that teamwork is going to become uh, even more important than just your individual excellence. So, I, as I understand it, uh, in Duke NUS, uh, the, there are quite a big component of their work that is already graded on the basis of the team, how the team performs and so on. Because in a medical setting, it is not just how brilliant you are as a doctor, but whether your anesthetists, you know, your nurses and your other doctors who are in charge of with other parts of the human body can come together and diagnose the one patient in front of you. So it's not about how brilliant I am as a, as, as a, as a cardiologist, for instance, but to be able to bring together the, the knowledge of various uh, specialization uh, to bring to bear on, on the issue. And I, I share with you a concern that several CEOs have mentioned to me, which is a certain um, um, impatience Sometimes, because you know, when you run a very uh, competitive system, if it's too competitive, sometimes some students think that look, you know, I've already emerged top of my class, and therefore when I start work, I ought to be top of my uh, group. And I've seen, I've met some of these students myself uh, in my uh, in my days running various ministries, and I can tell you that they don't make the best uh, officers because. That particular mentality makes it hard for them to work with others. And when you are in a real life setting doing very complex work, unless others are willing to cooperate with you, it's very hard to get good things done.